Good evening, listeners. Good evening and good day, good morning, wherever you are listening. I want to talk about constant hike in tuition fees. In Nigeria, constant hike in fees in public tertiary institutions has become a norm. In a country where many citizens struggle to afford daily meals, people are not expected to pay very high fees to gain knowledge. It is rather unfortunate that vice chancellors in both state and federal owned universities who went to school with ease and at affordable rates are comfortable to make education unattainable for the children of the common man. Do these people even consider the plight of the populace? Out of school children in Nigeria may hit 15 million mark by the end of 2021, and this is definitely due to insecurity, poverty, high school fees, and constant closures of schools, especially in major parts of this country, whether in the north or in the south. However, if the government fails to tackle the increasing rate of out of school children, these children might end up being recruited by bandits, Boko Haram, and ISIS, and the country will no longer be safe for its citizens. Virtually of Nigerian leaders who are making education a source of revenue generation and enjoy cheap and affordable education during their youth. Chancellors of the various universities who are traditional leaders are learned people and recognized as members of the university senate, which are every say in every decision taken. So why are they quiet about the incessant fees hike? when they are the fathers of the people. The university senate, governors of the affected states, traditional rulers, traditional leaders, and want to do individuals in the society must all put us together in order to make education affordable to all citizens. In this same country, two former people, uh, government officials, a former president and a vice president, they both have private universities. And how many people can afford to go there? I thought when they were setting up those universities, they would make the fees so affordable. But today, even the rich, the so-called rich, may even struggle to send their children to those schools. But I want to ask a charming question. This university, some of them have been existing for over 40, 30 years. Why is it that they cannot come up with something that will make them self-sustainable? Unilag has done it before. A former VC came up with the idea and they set up a entrepreneurship section and they were generating revenue. Again, for me, maybe the federal government should exempt the, our universities from TSA. Whatever is coming in, they should be able to give them a percentage to make sure they run the university that will make them sustainable. We can no longer continue like this. Should the institution not look for means to generate internal revenue instead of increasing tuition fees all the time. Can they be creative by investing in things that will bring them money, that will make them to be patent to, be patent to companies, that will bring revenue to them, instead of making people to run out of going to university because of the high fees? Can they partner with institutions, both local and foreign, to finance creative ideas that will be a long-time revenue generation for the institution. What is your take on this? Honestly, this is painful. We have institutions running, going cap in hand, and they cannot survive without funds. What do you think the government should do? What do you think the vice chancellors of this state and federal university should do to make themselves sustaining so that the institution fee can be affordable to our team in use? Please make your comment known, and thank you.